Hi there and welcome to the channel, back with another video and this time as you can see I'm on Sackboy A Big Adventure and what I'd like to show you today is the locations for all the items you need for the Player's Player Trophy so those items are the fish, the paintbrush and the cocktail umbrella there are eight of them scattered throughout the various worlds within the game uh, and all you need to do is get to them, pick them up and then you can simply exit the level and continue on to the next level you don't actually have to finish the levels in order to do this they count, they, it counts towards the trophy progress if you just pick them up and back out of the level so that's what we're going to do real quick I'm going to show you the levels to go to which worlds are in and the locations of the items so let's jump right in so, all we're going to do is we're going to fast travel back to the first world now I would recommend that before doing this, that you've unlocked all the various worlds and you're just doing a dumb thing. Um, that way the chances are you've probably found a fair few of these already. And also, uh, some of them are in the last, one of them is in the last world, I believe two of them in the last world. We'll find out. Anyway, the first one's here, in the level called A Key to Success, it's this one with the, the castle and the key lock on it. And also doing this loads in, just skip this. So grabbing one of these little fellas. And then once we open this door, not like that. We're going to go right to the back of this level. Like so or back of the three, I should say. So across these. Grab this fruit and once it breaks and you approach the fish that's lying there, you automatically pick it up and then you can go ahead and back out to the world map and that will count towards your trophy progress. Now if we just quick travel one more time and head to the second world now and this is where you'll find the majority of the before and the second world. Here we go. This is called Sticking With It, I believe. This, this uh, level. That's the very first one you come to. Sticking With It, yep. And on the second world, a uh, Colossal Canopy, I believe it's called. Just skip this again. And this one's a fair bit further into the level than it was in the last level. But again, it's still not too, too long. Again, all that I'm going to be doing is running straight through it. Now you need to, in order to run straight through it, grab the, the honey. So that you stick to the wall and then you can just go straight through it. It's a little better than that without crashing it or anything like that. Getting on sorting those pesky vex bugs. Have a banana. Kill this wee guy. And then it's hitting this orange balloon. You just jump up. That's you got the first paintbrush. Or item number two, as it should be. That's your item number two of eight. So we'll just go back to the world map now. And the next level is called monkey business that we want to find. It's just along here a bit. Please, not, not that like this one. Time. Again, this one's about halfway through this level. Um, you can tell you're getting close to it when it starts to rain. Um, but again, I think you probably would have found this one just throughout the normal course of playing the game. It's uh, obviously it's a uh, very very easy to find. It's, uh, it's very obvious. Most of these actual, two or three of these actually are fairly obvious and I should probably have found them. Show it the normal course I would have thought. 
Here we're going to a level called a matter of factory now. This one with the cogs on it. But if memory serves me correct, just after the second is it so interesting? We have to go through a, a rolling hole which is behind the hinge plate. I'll show you anyway. It's not this one, it's the next door we go through, it's just that one. So. this hole up to one of the eggs and you want to stop the egg when it's on the sword like so and that gives you the umbrella now you can go ahead and jump back to the world map and what you want to do is you want to press both these buttons either side of this to open this secret door if you haven't already in here and the level the struggle is really and again this one's actually quite quick it's quite near the start but it's also quite easy to miss here. I want to wait and jump across this little platform here and there's the umbrella right here. So you can go ahead and back to the world map now. And unfortunately we can't fast travel from this location so we have to go back to the last area to fast travel to the next world. It's not the next world because there's actually uh, there's not any of the items to pick up in uh, the Kingdom of Cadlantis. The next place we want to go is the Interstellar Junction. And it's the level Touch and Go. See it's this one right here with the picture of the planet. I think it's meant to be Saturn. Or oh, the subits might be sound, I should say. And it's right at the start here, what you want to do is you want to just jump across here. And knock this battery down. And you pick up this battery by holding an R2 as you pick up anything else. But you want to hold an R2 so you can move around while carrying it. And you want to just jump across. And once you get to the edge, just release R2 and it will throw it up there for you. Again, hold an R2 to pick it up, walk close to the edge, and you're just going to press L2 to drop the battery into the, the hole in front of you. And what we want to do is we want to dive bomb this, and that will give us this crate. Once you break this crate, as you've got your paintbrush just out of that crate, you have to jump up to pick it up out of the sky, as you can see. 
So that's us but that one, but we'll just head back to the world map now. And fast travel, that's the only one in this world, to the last world, which is the centre of craft world. And the, la the level we're looking for is called Create Expectations. I believe it's up the top up here. That's it there. So this one is the hardest level to get the, the item on because it's quite fidgety. So we'll just again go ahead and skip the... Oh, I'll go ahead and skip the intro anyway. Situated about three quarters of the way through the level, um, but like I say, once we get to a few lights, we can just it will take a few attempts. It certainly took me a few attempts to, to get it the first time. Probably might even take me a few attempts this time. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, not. hopefully we can get this first time. And that'll be that. Okay, so once you get to here, we're going to go ahead and kill this guy firing the arrows. And then these boxes up here, these pink boxes up here. Um, basically you're going to destroy the four of them with a bomb, or multiple bombs. And a smaller one will, a smaller box will drop out. And once you blow up that smaller box, you have to be really quick to grab the umbrella like so. Otherwise, as you can see, it'll go off the edge. So that's that one done. And we'll go back to the world map for the... In fact, I don't even to do that, probably. Oh, we does need to go back to the world map, sorry. Uh, and all you want to do now is you want to head to the Knitted Knight Trials. If you, if you haven't got the trophy pot by now. For the last oh, item, boy. although you may have found it already, you if you've things. done these in order, and it's in the one called Trial by Fire, Trial number 11, and this one's really easy to get to. <laughs> it's right at the start, after this first water fire trap. You can see it's just up here. And that is the last item. So that is all it. Uh, and hopefully now you have your uh, player's player trophy. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And please, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this and would like to see more from the channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.